would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no censors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. I think I have found the remnants of an ancient, very advanced civilization in southern Florida. Now, I know that's a big statement. There are very few places in the continental United States where you can go and see areas that are untouched by modern man. One of those places is the extreme southern Everglades of Florida. It's almost impassable. There's guys that go out there and they, you know, hunt pythons every year. They do different stuff, but you can't build anything. It's solid swamp. And, of course, because of the occasional hurricanes coming through, everything gets churned up and it's... And it's also, honestly, a miserable place with all of the mosquitoes and the heat and the humidity. But, guys, what I'm going to show you, I don't know how you could make any other explanation for. Now, some might ask, why were you looking in this region to begin with? Well, honestly, that's pretty much the reason why. If there was going to be evidence of anything like this nearer to us than Antarctica, you would find it here. Now. In this area, it's called Whitewater Bay. Um, some people call it, I guess it's referred to as Midway Keys. There's something very, very odd going on. And I'd like to share this with you. When you look in very closely at the trees, in strips, in very predictable lanes, you can see a difference in the vegetation. Here here, up here, and it's a very predictable rhythm. Now, that by and of itself is curious, but not really evidence of much. But when you use the historical imagery, you find something in this particular region, this tiny little um, bay area, that is unmistakable. Now, the image you're looking at here is from February of 2017. And I'm going to go back a few years just to show that it generally stays looking the same way, that these strips aren't an artifact of the, um, the camera. There are areas where there, you can see these long strips and it's just poor imaging, but this isn't it. When you zoom in, you can actually see that this is how the trees are growing, that there's these strips of land or just strips of area that where they grow in a different color or they grow taller. And I hope you can see this. It's showing up pretty good on the camera for me, but I've noticed that sometimes it doesn't for everyone. Now, once again, let's go back historically. So here's 2014. And once again, you see the same thing. Here's March of 2013. Now, Let's go back, 14, here's February 2017. I want you to pay very close attention now to this region right here that I'm circling. Watch this. What in the world is that? 
sometime between February of 2017 and December of 2017, this perfectly square piece of, I don't know what, surfaced or is surfacing in the process of surfacing in southern Florida. It looks like the water has just either changed color or had, or it's gotten shallower or something has come up from below in this region. And let me measure this out for you real quick. And it almost kind of correlates with something that we found in Antarctica. All right, we'll start here. Measure over to here. Straighten that line up a little bit. Comes down to here. And goes over to here. Four point. Let me see if I can move this over here. 4.49 acres, about 1,772 square feet, 540 square meters, pardon me, um, perimeter, 540 meters, area, 18,161 square meters, the perimeter, I'm sorry, perimeter, 1,772 feet, Square feet is 195,486 square feet. So this is big. I don't know if this is a building. I don't know if this is the footing of an ancient structure. But what would cause this? It's just beyond anything that you could say is natural. There's no way this is a natural creation. And when you look at all of the, the way the trees just grow very strangely, like here you can see how this, this island out here just lines up perfectly, and you can follow this line all the way in. And the distance between them, I guess I should measure that. I didn't do that yet. Distance between is about 244 feet. And they're in very regular intervals. And you can see it over this whole island. But this only appears... In December of 2017, this is the exact same picture here from February of that year. You don't see it at all. What happened? What happened in the summer of 2017? Or I guess you could say any time between February and December, so that would pretty much be all year. It could be spring, summer, fall, even winter possibly. This is just crazy. This is something that, honestly, I've never come right out and asked to have my audience help something go viral. Because I think it's, you know, a bit narcissistic, but this would be something that would be relevant to all Americans. If there were something that could be found within our borders that could rewrite history, that's something people need to look into. That's something that people need to discover and uncover about the original inhabitants of this hemisphere. I've made this allegation about Antarctica being connected down at the tip of Tierra del Fuego and that it would have been possible to walk from that region through South America to here. The history of this hemisphere is only very recent and controlled by very few. 
not to get too conspiracy, but this this would be proof. This would be smoking gun, undeniable proof that something is down there. And once again, I'll I'll. There's no way this is some type of a. Um, let me see how I can describe this. There were years ago the Tennessee Valley Authority, after the Great Depression, paid people to go plant these large swaths of forest. And all of the trees you can see are in perfectly straight lines. And we have that down here too in Florida where they 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 do um timber, you know, commercially. This is not one of those areas where that would possibly be done. It's too swampy, too remote. This isn't people planting stuff for a reason. And there is some other very, very odd things on this island around here. And I'm going to continue to look and try to make uh, some more videos about this. But even out here, the way this 90 degree angle cuts off, doesn't, doesn't this look like a constructed bay right here? I mean, I mean, look at this whole this whole area right by this. See how it comes up here, and then just cuts off here. All these straight lines, and then when you find something like this, I have no earthly explanation. Maybe somebody out there does, and I'll just leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. I would like to kind of pick up where we left off yesterday I found a location down in the Florida Keys this place called Whitewater Bay it's kinda of north of the Keys actually where there is in the 12 of 2017 layer of Google Earth Pro this strange square that shows up just in December of that year it doesn't show up earlier which is very strange the only thing that I can attribute this to is perhaps water level. That perhaps, and it would seem strange, but the water might be deeper now. In the sense that the only thing that would remain would be this square. If the water were shallower, it would always look, um, this entire region I should say, would always look this kind of reddish color. Because that's how the shallower water looks. In this brack water region, it's kind of a hard thing to explain until you've kind of been down there and experienced it. These trees, these strips of trees also, very strange. A couple of viewers had also pointed out that there were other squares as well. One of the major ones is here. If you look at this strip of trees, comes across here, 90 degree angle, back down to here. There's something underneath here. And some other people have made some comments about maybe it's just a fault of color correction. I thought maybe that was the case, but let me show you a couple other places. I found three others besides that one, but they're in different years. Now, I don't have all of these memorized, so we're going to start here with the closest one. And let's see if I can find the right year for this. Okay, this is the same year, but February of that year. Now, look at this. You have these two green squares right next to each other. Now, I'm not sure what exactly would cause this with this perfect line right through the middle. And you can see it's not some fault of the imagery. There's a literally a break in the trees that you can see here. And it's only when you zoom farther out that you can see this. That's why I don't know if an expedition to the region, unless you had some very, very specific equipment and a ton of drones and a ton of batteries and a ton of time and people that you could make this look like we're showing it because this is high altitude, 1600 feet. You start flying drones up around 1600 feet, you're going to get in trouble. And so I don't know if you could really show this in a localized um, type of investigation. Now, let's go to a couple of others, and one of these others is definitely smoking gun, and I think this is it right here. Okay, we have the exact same thing, what looks like a structure, but it's not a square. It's a rectangle, so this rules out some random square of imagery missing the color correction. 
because why over here, why would it miss the color correction in a completely different shape? I honestly think these are building footings that you can only see this way, that once the water gets deeper, and I know that sounds weird. It seems like, well, wait a minute, wouldn't you think it would be shallower? Well, it's relatively shallower. That's what I'm talking about that the water has gotten deeper except for this area here and if you were to shallow everything out it would all wash out to this color that's why I think what we're seeing is coming out with deeper water and 2017 if I'm not mistaken that was Irma Hurricane Irma now this is weird though because this is February of 17 this is prior to Irma if I'm thinking that's the that's the right year, I can't remember if it was 16 or 17, um, because we had Matthew, and Matthew they were both in the fall. One was in September, one was in August, and I probably should have looked that up before I did the video, but I don't think this has anything to do with those. I think this just might be one of those cases where the satellite was at the right place at the right time, taking the right picture, just like we've seen in Antarctica. A lot of the images down there don't show up in every year but at some points in time when the snow is melted just the right way and the lights at the right angle you can see all of the different things that we've shown down there and I think that's why Google if you were going to make some kind of allegation that Google has some giant conspiracy to hide things and maybe they do the amount of effort that it would take to go through all of the layers of imagery and all of the years and all of the aspects with a fine tooth comb and then submit something and say okay well I think this should be erased or this should be redacted or whatever they just don't have that. why would they why would they they have plausible deniability anyway if you want proof of it look at my channel I have shown stuff that's completely undeniable dozens and dozens of places and still there's absolutely no acknowledgement of the Florida Maquis or our investigations or anything that we've done publicly not even by other channels and this is what happens when you're on the wrong side of politics too I'm sure if I had bowed down at the altar and worshipped the current leader in DC like everyone else on YouTube has that there would probably be people uh, sharing my work and doing things to help build the channel but because they realize that I uh, don't like either side of the coin and I'm not gonna support them simply on the word of some random ridiculous anyway Sorry to get off on a tangent. One more place to go. One more place to go, and it's way over here. And let me see if I can find the right year for this one. One second. Maybe it was forward. There is something here I wanted to show you guys. Here it is. 12 of 2017 once again as you can see there is something down there there's absolutely something down there and we're seeing the footings of it now I don't even know even with the biggest expedition if you could uncover this or reveal it because these swamps they're just impossible I mean they are absolutely impossible to get through and do any kind of work in for any amount of time and a lot of them are protected so that you would be limited that way as well if I remember right back in the 90s there was a plane crash down here a plane went down and they never recovered a single body they never recovered anything because it crashed and there was there was a football player on board I think he was like a Notre Dame football player or something and uh, running back and they never recovered anything not a piece of luggage because it just once you hit these swamps and it starts sinking by the time you get to it it's just not there anymore and that's how bad now out here in this bay you know maybe but up in this misery up here which is literally what it is it's absolutely some of the most miserable area in Florida that you've ever visited it's terrible snakes and bugs and creepy crawlies and the worst weather ever but anyway um, so four different areas covering about uh, a year 
there's all sorts of stuff that's uncovering down here. And I think I got all four locations. We got this one from yesterday. And then we have, that's 12 to 2017. February 2017 here for the green ones. And then down here, same year, February 2017. We have this building footing. And then with this one, we have to go back forward to 12 of 2017. So something was going on down here in 2017. That's all I can... Something strange was going on with the water levels in the glades from February to December. And it's too bad that we can't go back in time. And But we have the locations. So whatever it is, if it's there, it should be something that at least you could go down and get some kind of maybe a picture of or a sample of, but to completely uncover it and completely show what it was with this amount of garbage on top of it. I just don't know if that's possible, but I did find about 10 or 12 new things in Antarctica and we will get that to that tomorrow for sure. Um, and it's, uh, once again, it's in one of these strange regions where the camera was just at the right place at the right time showing the right image and the shadows are unmistakable. There is some type of a civilization down there or some type of a covert group of people working, operating, doing something under the ice that we don't know about. And I guess I'll just leave it there. Like, share, subscribe. Would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much.